I mean, if you talk about Lovedale, you don't just talk about wine, I guess. You talk about accommodation and restaurants. Wine and Food Month is, is an attempt to get it onto the calendar, and it's fantastic. I think it's a case of trying to sell, you know, coming here in winter. The philosophy has always been to give people really good product at a really reasonable price and stand behind the product and be confident in it. And I think that's been the success of the, of the wine. We have lots of uh, artists in, in the Hunter Valley and so I think we just thought we would just try and hold an event that sort of drew in an, another demographic to uh, show Lovedale off in another way. It's great, you know what I mean, to be associated with a, wine, a winery like this and, and in the Hunter Valley, I mean, it's such a beautiful place. It's just nice to bring your work up here and um, set it up and then just come up and look at it. It really does bring together people who, who care about products and you don't find that. You have people who go to work every day because there's a paycheck at the end of the week, but the wine industry is different. People are interested in the product. You know, that we still go to numerous tastings through the course of a month and look at wines from other wine regions of the world. It, it is more than just a job. It's something that we really have a passion for. And again, it sounds a bit reworked, but yeah, I think that, it, it, I think it's an industry attitude. I think it's a fantastic idea and there's so many diverse artworks here and um, I think anything that brings people to this wonderful part of the world is a great idea, so well done.